first piece that I'm performing. It's called Auntie G. Okay. Uh, just a disclaimer. Uh, when I use the word Auntie G, it's not. It doesn't refer to an age group, but a mindset. Okay. And um, some of the greatest villains in my life have been aunties. So uh, this is not a tirade about empowerment or the patriarchy. It's just a letter to all the aunties who are not nice to me. Hi, auntie. I've got a bone to pick with you. Auntie, you are the original Gada Jam. Wherever I go, you are always there. <laughs> Your game is to compare who's going where in life and who's sleeping with whose wife who's gotten fat and who's gone under the knife. Auntie, I know by no mean why you can't be nice. All this advice you keep giving, you're just handing it down, doing to me what was done to you, but enough is enough. Let me try something new. I have a few things to say to you. Auntie, the world is not falling to pieces just because women go off their leashes. No God punishes the world just because women won't do as they're told. Some of us need to disobey. Some of us are gay. Some of us do not pray. Some of us want to make our own way. Some of us weigh a lot more than we ought to. But I got to ask you this, auntie. Why can't you let me be? To the auntie who said that climate change is happening because of young people's minds opening to the idea that anyone can love anyone they find and that gender is a construct of the mind. Yeah, sure, Auntie. The planet is dying not because of greenhouse gases, uh, greenhouse gas amounts, but because of my Tinder body counts. Yeah, sure. Yes, Auntie, the world is two degrees hotter because I am sleeping with your daughter. <laughs> that my skin could be so much fairer if I stayed out of the fucking sun. That my body wouldn't be this fat if I went for a morning run. Yeah, sure, auntie. If I cover up and shape up and put up only the right amount of makeup and take up only the tiniest bit of space and replace my entire personality, will you finally be okay with me? Please, auntie. Come take a ride. Let me be your guide. Let me teach you the art of not giving a damn. All these rules are a sham. We can break them all down and finally put on our crown. Look, auntie, just take the fucking red pill and we can break the cycle. <laughs> auntie, can't you see that you're trying to put me in the same case that you were putting? Your mother, her mother, her mother's mother, all pretty caged birds who sing. But here's the thing. We can change the course of this tide if only you will come over to the dark side. Come over to the dark side where we provide unconditional support to the women around us, where we discuss and find that we have more in common than we thought, that we ought to grow up feeling unashamed of our bodies or our desire, that we can conspire to shape this world into a kind of place where we can embrace our chaotic madness and our infinite grace. Auntie, why be the willing when you can be heroes if only you rose out of bed and decided to question everything? Unlearn and undo and unleash your being. Build us up, not tear us down. And you'll find that the word auntie is not a noun, but a state of mind. Not a name to be called in disgust, but a bond that implies some trust. Come on to the dark side, auntie. We can finally be free. Or at least the next time you see me, just please be nice to me.